How's it going YouTube? For this video I thought we'd cover how you could find the value of angles uh, that satisfy certain given conditions. So what I mean by that is we have some sort of angle and all we really know is maybe the value of the sine or cosine of that angle and we also know a little bit about where that angle is, maybe which quadrant it is. If we think about our unit circle and work backwards we can go ahead and figure out what angle it's talking about. So let's see some examples, see how this works. For this one, I'm curious what the angle is. It lives between 0 and pi over 2, and I know that the sine of that angle is square root of 2 over 2. Uh, to solve something like this, it's probably a good idea to just sketch out where that angle lives. So this one is in the first quadrant. So you can imagine just uh, looking at that first quadrant. For sine, I'm thinking of my unit circle and thinking where the second coordinate is equal to square root of 2 over 2. So in my head, I'm thinking of a picture like this, second coordinate, square root of 2 over 2. Uh, and once I have that information, I can you know, look it up and say, oh yeah, I remember this angle. It's actually just pi over 4. That's the only one in the first quadrant whose second coordinate is the square root of 2 over 2. So theta equals pi over 4. Not bad. Let's try another one of these. This one says cosine of theta is equal to negative square root of 3 over 2, and now our angle lives somewhere between pi over 2 and pi. So once again, let's go ahead and just sketch out where this angle lives. So this would be 0 degrees, this would be pi and pi over 2. So if it's between pi over 2 and pi, we're dealing with the second quadrant over on this side. Now again, I want to think, well, if it lives in the second quadrant, um, what value should it have? We want the first coordinate to be negative square root of 3 over 2. So I'm looking at angles, first coordinate has to be negative square root of 3 over 2. And now I just have to figure out what that angle is. Uh, there's a couple of ways you could do it. Uh, if you actually just look it up in the unit circle, you'll find that it's at uh, 2 pi over 3. If you're only looking at the first quadrant, then you want to think of reference angles that have a reference of pi over 3. And then of course, make sure your signs match up. But anyway, this one is at 2 pi over 3. So sure enough, that is our angle, 2 pi all over 3. Now, sometimes you might come across problems where more than one angle will satisfy the given conditions. And if that's the case, you really just want to list out all of the angles that work. Let's try this one. This one, my angle could be anywhere in the circle, anywhere between 0 and 2 pi. And what I know about it is that if I square cosine, uh, I get a value of 1 half. So we're going to have to work with this a little bit. Um, and of course, really think about all the values that show up uh, as we go all the way around that circle. So 1 half is one of my key values uh, that I'd be looking for on my unit circle. But I'm really dealing with cosine squared. So before I can actually pick out key values on my unit circle, I want to get cosine all by itself. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. Since we're taking the square root of something squared, this will be plus minus cosine of theta equals the square root of 1, all divided by the square root of 2. Not bad. Let's go ahead and move the plus minus to the other side. And it almost looks like one of our key values um, let's go ahead and multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 2 and see that sure enough it is. We're looking for when cosine is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. All right, now we can turn our attention over to uh, our unit circle. And, and now we're looking where every first coordinate is square root of 2 over 2 or whether it's a negative square root of 2 over 2. So let's think of the values we'd get on there. So let's see, I have one angle up here that'd be square root of 2 over 2. I have another angle over here that'd be at negative square root of 2 over 2. We have one down here, negative square root of 2 over 2. And one more, square root of 2 over 2, done. So what angles are these? Let's list them all out so we can get all of the angles that satisfy our conditions. Well, the first one will happen at pi over 4. Then we'll go, let's see, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, so 3 pi over 4 to get the next one. 3, 4, 5, 5 pi over 4 for the next. 
And one last one at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 pi over 4. So all of these angles, I could use any one of them, and if I plug them into cosine squared it, I should get 1 half. Not bad. Uh, let's do one more of these that has a few more angles that actually satisfy the conditions, just so we get a little bit better. Okay, so this one deals with uh, sine of theta is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. And our angle could be anywhere between 0 and pi. So like before, we're thinking of the entire um, uh, unit circle could be anywhere in there. But we want values where uh, the second coordinate is negative square root of 2 over 2. So if I'm looking at my coordinates, I, I do have ones that are equal to a positive square root of 2. But we really just want to focus where the second value is a negative square root of 2 over 2. So you'll find one in the third quadrant down there. And you'll find another one in the fourth quadrant. So it looks like we have two angles that will satisfy this. The first one happens at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pi over 4. And the next one happens at 7 pi over 4. And those are the only two angles in the entire unit circle uh, where the second coordinate is equal to a negative square root of 2 over 2. All right. So you can see that uh, knowing your unit circle is going to be a huge, huge help in this one. Uh, if you don't have it memorized, go ahead and grab a unit circle and set it next to you as you're doing problems like this, and that should help out a lot. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.